कॉन्क्रीट का ट्रप या लिमिटिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ क्रैक विथ्स वाई कॉन्क्रीट गेट क्रैक्स वट आर द मेथड अवेलेबल टू रिपेयर द कॉन्क्रीट क्रैक्स एपोक्स इंजेक्शन पैचिंग एंड मेनी मोर मेथड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्रैक रिपेयर इन मेथड्स इन डिटेल आई एम प्रसाद फ्रॉम स्ट्रक्चर गाइड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल यू मे गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑन न्यू वीडियोज Limiting values of crack width. Having a crack width less than 0.1 mm is not considered as an issue in water retaining structures. That is because when the water moves through this crack, it's considered this crack will automatically seal. We'll discuss this in later. Now, generally, a limiting value of the crack width for water retaining structures is 0.2 mm. So when you have a aesthetic concern, you more or less limit the crack width to 0.1 mm. Other than that, in water retaining structures, you will limit the crack width to 0.2 mm. In other structural elements, we will limit the crack width to 0.3 mm. The concern of the crack width is the depth of the crack. Now, if the crack width is or the crack is at the surface level. And it has not penetrated up to the reinforcement, or that it has, it is within the cover zone. There is a less risk, but in case now the crack is penetrated up to the reinforcement, there will be durability issues. With that, it will related to the structural stability. Why concrete get crack? Shrinkage cracks. Thermal cracks due to the heat of hydrations, thermal cracks due to the change in environmental conditions, structural cracks, cracking due to the chemical reaction are the main reasons for cracking. So we are not going to discuss in detail about the cracking of concrete and why these are why these type cracks are there. Today we are focusing on crack repair. Concrete crack repair methods. What are mostly used methods? So I have listed here some of the important things that we could share and important method that we could share with you. Epoxy grout injection, polyurethane injection, stitching, patching, gravity filling methods, drilling and plugging methods, flexible sealing, grooving and sealing, orthogenous seal. Those are the methods. So we are going to discuss in detail. Let's discuss about each type of method in detail. Epox grout injection. What is this method? So let's see why we can do this and what are the parameters of this epox grout injection method. Epox is a very low viscous material. It is non-shrink material. So when it get hardened, its volume does not produce. That is good because when filling a cavity, if, if its volume reduces, there will be a space or there will be a cavity again. Greater bond strength between steel and the concrete. Higher bond in the concrete and higher tensile capacity in the concrete when compared to normal concrete. Develop high compression resistance than the concrete, so it's relatively very high. When when normal structures we maintain the concrete strength in the range of 25 to 30 newtons per millimeter square, but this is in the range of 50 to 60 newtons per millimeter square compared to high value. High shear bond strength is there. High chemical resistance also there with the epoxy grout. Epoxy grout is a flowable and it can be penetrated into the very small cracks. So it is it will be applied with the pressure, allowing it to fill to the whole crack. It is more suitable type of crack for structural repairs. More suitable type of crack repair method in structural repair. Now, when you have a crack, hmm, what we do is we fix the nozzles all on this crack. Then this crack will be sealed in between these nozzles. 
so firstly we start from one end then you inject the epoxy grout from that end till the neck it come out from the next no sir once it start coming out from the next muscle the first one will be closed then we go to the second one then we inject from the second one till it come from the third one likewise it will be repeated until all areas fill or the wall cracks is sealed polyethylene injection it's also modern method of sealing cracks when there are concern about the material leaking the polyethylene injection is and this is more suitable for cracks of this nature this is not used to repair the structure crack so structure capacity of the structure bond is not gain because it's not retain or try to bond distance it's try to fill the gap and seal it the polyethylene expands about 22 to 40 times from its original body this suitable for filling voids in the concrete. This thrustometric material fast setting form are suitable for cracking crack sealing in water retaining structures. Polythrene is very useful as it, it start hardening within few minutes. It needs smaller time to harden. It reduces the movement of the material from the crack because it gets sealed and it's avoid the movement of the material from the crack. Resymmetric is the nature of the, the sealant allowed to slight structural movement at the crack. High injection pressure may be required for uh, to inject the small or finer cracks. That's usual as epoxy so you need to sometimes a certain pressure to apply to seal it properly. Stitching. Stitching Concrete crack repair is not that effective as effective out in our opinion. It is a method that tie the two part of the concrete separated by the crack. So as you can see in this figure, stitching has been done and the rain, the uh, steel bar has in, inserted into the concrete. So this separation will be removed or the, this will hold like a reinforcement. So in, in, the, in these cases also, in the stretching, sometimes we have seen that we, they cut a groove there and you insert the rebar. Then the, to protect the, this, this, this bar, this rebar or steel element, you fill with epoxy grout or non zinc grout type. You can cover it since you have a groove and you have inserted the groove, the steel bar rod is inserted within the groove so we can cover it. <coughs> Patching. Patching is most common method of sealing the cracks. We have seen many times we use the non-string construction grout that having a very high strength like 50 to 60 newtons per millimeter squared for this kind of a sealing. sealing. So this, here also we use non-string construction grout that is a material that does not reduce its volume when it get hard so we cut the glue v-shaped glue along the crack and then we will fill the crack with non-sweet construction grout gravity filling methods gravity filling also most uh, sim one of the most simplest method because we are not we are not required to use any machine so you fill the crack with a grout that is suitable with gravity method gravity method means we don't have any pressure it's allow the gravity gravitational force to move the uh, injected uh, epoxy into the crack so this is one of the easiest method but the required Viscosity should be there within the epoxy or any other material you use to fill into the crack. Drilling and plugging methods. So this is also not that common, but when you have a crack, 
so you can drill along this and you can fill that crack so small hole you can drill along the crack like uh, epoxy injection you insert no cell but instead of in this inserting no cell you drill up to a certain level and then you use the grout whatever grout you to fill this hole and that should be filled with the crack we may use epoxy for this purpose also flexible sealing grooving and sealing now when we have a certain wider crack we can use this kind of methods and also when you have a connections crack in between structural element like concrete wall and concrete brick wall or concrete wall uh, concrete column and brick wall in such a case if you want to allow for the movements if we are not if the cracks is not it's kept it appear over and over again even though you repaired then you may allow the movement so you use the you can use the flexible seal and for repairing these cracks you make the crack appear and it let the crack be there so you will fill with the flexible material then this flexible material allow the movement when there are wider cracks you may fill it with uh, before filling the flexible material you may insert the back around then you fill the material because to save the material you may need to have a back around before filling the flexible material autogenous sealing this is a kind of a method or kind of a natural treatment for the cracks now in a concrete you know now when it when the water is moved the concrete calcium carbonate uh, crystal formation result in this sealing the crack calcium ions on the surface of the concrete crack react with the water they move through the cracks and deposit so this is the process that we call the autogenous sealing so this is a kind of a natural process for the cracks generally it's say around 0.1 mm will be sealed with autogenous sealing mostly it's true cracks most of the cracks having crack with less than 0.1 mm sealed with this method now we have discussed the direct method that we used to repair the cracks now we are going to have a discussion on the indirect method rather repairing the crack we can now when the crack is specially when the crack is related to the structure capacity rather repairing the crack, other than the repair in the crack we may need to provide additional support or additional strength to that particular element for example if the bending have a bending have a bending crack if a beam have a bending crack at the middle so repairing the crack with epoxy may not be adequate since the beam have higher tensile stress this epoxy may not be able to bear such a tensile stress so beam is need we may need additional support such a cases there are different method that we can adapt for those to solve those issues adding additional reinforcement we can add additional reinforcement there pre stressing frfe steel beam supports increasing sections providing additional support because there are many method we can adapt to improve the structural capacity as you can see on your right hand side there are some methods we have indicated that could be used for repairing the repairing in addition to repairing strain the crack element so you you can see you can add thyroid to control or the stress development in this slab area so even for the beams when we have a crack like this you may use tension cable like this so you fix at both ends and you apply tension so 
the the crack width widening the crack width or increasing crack width and also the structure safety will be improved with that we are going to end today's discussion so today we are discuss about concrete crack repair methods the available most frequently used method were discussed and i think we share a very useful information with you we meet again from new video thank you very much for watching watching our videos